Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. We're going back up to the Great White North, giving you some more breaking news out of this getting crazier by the second Canadian Mafia War slash Biker War slash Street Gang War. Uh, all these different iterations of the Rizzuto crime family falling apart from about 2009 forward. We're on year 15, but uh, a lot of developments, a lot of moving parts, and I'm going to break it all down for you. But the lead here, I'm not going to bury the lead here, is it appears that the Rizzuto's main muscle right now on the street, Jean-Philippe Celestine, a.k.a. The Butcher, has jumped ship from the Rizzuto camp and is now in the Hell's Angels camp as an official member of the Marauders. You can see this picture right here. Uh, Radio Canada was the first to break this um, with uh, Celestine in a Marauder rocker. The Marauders are one of the main support clubs for the Hell's Angels in Montreal. It looks like this all started, at least publicly, started to take shape at the funeral of uh, Celestine's little brother, Brandon Jean Celestine, who was killed back in February, leaving the the uh, the gang's headquarters at Elio's Restaurante in Little Italy. They took over from, from Greg Picasso Woolley, who had been kind of the street gang godfather for the Rizzuto crime family for quite a bit. He was affiliated with the Hells Angels. He was killed. Back in November, you know, we've said it before, allies on Monday can be enemies on Tuesday and then back to allies again on Wednesday. Uh, and the Hells Angels have been staging a hostile takeover of the Rizzuto crime family, sports gambling, and drug rackets over the last couple of years. And Celestine and his brother and Greg Woolley were big part of the Rizzuto presence on, on the streets. Uh, their ranks have been been depleted quite a bit due to attrition, murder, prison, some people just tapping out. And over the last couple of years, or last year, year and a half, the Rizzutos have been relying a lot on these, these street gangs for, for muscle operational logistics. And this is big news. Uh, after the murder of Brandon Jean in February at his funeral, the butcher, John Philip Celestine, was, was sporting some Marauders gear. Um, it looked like he was signaling maybe the people that maybe didn't know uh, that were looking to kill him. There are a lot of rumors that the murder of his brother was a case of mistaken identity. And he was kind of like single signaling with this Marauders paraphernalia at the funeral, as well as some other big events connected to the morning of his brother passing, uh, was signaling to people that he's with the Hells Angels now um, and that he's no longer supporting the Rizzutos. That's what it looks like. We don't know for sure. But he's a Marauder now. Marauders are Hells Angels. I'm told that Marty is signed off on this and uh marty robert the public enemy number one in 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 montreal the biker boss the aspiring overall crime czar of, of canada uh with this very ambitious takeover plan and this is a big win for the hell's angels and marty robert if it's true uh that jean philip celestine is now fighting on the hell's angel side of this whole thing uh we should also mention that there were a series of raids related to the investigation into Brandon John's murder in February, that there were three arrests in those raids. Those arrests are not tied to the murder. I want to be clear. Um, they were made uh, during the raids, though. Uh, Caleb Pyatt, Brandon Tobar, and Miguel Nestor Pintos, too. Uh, were the three that were arrested related to various uh, possession of things or or other uh, breakoffs of the investigation into the murder, but it doesn't. They're not being implicated right now as being involved in in that in that homicide. 
But what we know for sure is right now, according to my sources, according to Radio Canada and, and according to La Presse, uh, we have a, a brand new day now. And uh, the 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 former street gang faction of the Rizzuto crime family is now officially, it looks like, a member of the Hells Angels camp. Um, and it looks like John Philip Celestine and Tupac Atna, who had replaced Greg Woolley, who uh, might have been at odds at one point over the last four or five months, appears to, they're all on the same team now. They're all with Team Hells Angels. So uh, we'll keep you updated with everything that's that's going on up there. It's moving fast and furious. You need a scorecard. We're going to be the one to, to you know, keep you, make sure that scorecard's as accurate as possible. So if you like what you got here, please like, subscribe, spread the word. Um, we love giving it to you here at the OG Podcast. Scott Bernstein, I'm out.